I want to shine light on what Aaron Judge is doing, one, and how this is the worst case scenario for the Yankees. Aaron Judge has hit 55 home runs this season. He's on pace to hit 64 home runs. That would put him, I think, the most home runs in the season in Yankees history. Number one is Roger Maris with 61. Uh, that was in 1961. And Babe Ruth is number two with uh, 60, 1927. Babe Ruth is also number three with 59 in 1921. I have a good feeling that Aaron Judge is going to hit that pace of 64. Now, I don't think he's going to do the most home runs of all time, which, of course, is 73 from Barry Bonds in 2001. I don't think he's going to get there. Maybe if you tack on the the postseason. I don't know. But I don't think that's going to happen. But Aaron Judge is going to... He's already he's, he's to me he's gonna sh- he's gonna get this I think he's gonna get to sixty four, um, and I also think that he's going to be the runaway MVP this year, which rightfully so, deservedly so. Aaron Judge is the lifeline of this Yankees team, which also brings me back to the point which I said in the beginning, which is one of the biggest reasons why I said. The Yankees are not going to win the World Series. This this happened. This has happened for like the last decade. They start off hot, hot as hell, in fuego, boiling, sizzling, and then it, they just they are they are gasping for air right now. Their their offense has just been anemic. Their offense has fallen off a cliff, even with Aaron jo- Judge, even with Giancarlo Stanton. Even with uh, it, it there it's it's not. I don't see them winning the World Series. I, I I'm not I'm not clairvoyant. I'm not a, a vision teller or whatever or a future teller. But I can almost rest rest assured they're not going to win the World Series. They could. Anything could happen. I don't see it happening. Especially how they're looking right now. But this is why I said Aaron Judge's success is the worst thing that could have happened to the Yankees. And it's it's honestly the Yankees' fault. This is why I said when they were doing the whole, you know, contract negotiation, Aaron Judge was asking for X money and the Yankees weren't trying to give it to him. I said, you don't want to play with a player like this. It kind of goes back to Lamar Jackson, the Ravens. You do not want to play with a player like this. There's only one Aaron Judge in the league. There's only one Shohei Otani. There's only one Aaron Judge. There's only one Mookie Betts. You don't. There's only one Bryce Harper. You don't play with stuff like this. So now what's gonna happen? I I'm almost sure. Whenever I think his contract's up this year. Whenever his contract's up, whether it's this year or next year, I put money. Aaron Judge will not will not be a Yankee the following season. You see, just like egos, athletes have memories and they remember. Jobs do it too. You ever work in a corporate world and you feel like something happens and then you feel like because something may have happened, a lot of your opportunities kind of get thrown to the side because of that incident? And it takes a while for you to, quote unquote, build up your reputation again. That's what's happening with the Yankees. The problem is they don't have that much time. They lost their time, in my opinion, because the last thing you can do is the last thing that you wanted was for you to not give that man his money. Aaron Judge his money that he's asking for. It wasn't it wasn't that much. You didn't give him the. I think it was like 20 million, which, again, regular people like me that is life-changing that's that's life-changing for generations but for him and athletes that's not that much money and I think they settled with like 17 or something that they had to go to court for by the way I put money whenever this contract's up whether it's this year next year then the following year he will not be a Yankee Again, the worst thing that they could have happened was 
not pay that man his money because they felt he didn't deserve or they felt they didn't they he didn't deserve it. And then he goes and breaks the Yankees home run record and wins the MVP. Yeah. They 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 kind of didn't play their hand on that one. So they 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 played their hand and they lost. That's just that's just how it was. 